Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com. Today we have a quick video on a Mac app. So I'm going to try to feature some more apps, both for Windows and Mac lately. Today's app is Jump Cut for the Mac. This is a really cool clipboard associated application that kind of makes your clipboard more productive and allows you to uh, jump to certain cuts that you may have made in your uh, history of uh, browsing or whatever it may be, like, you know, thus the name Jump Cut. So it's a free download, you guys can check it out. So let's say, you know, you've been browsing the web and you, you know, you copy a link or you copy a phone number that is, you know, key that you need for whatever reason, you know, you may need it later on. And then, you know, as you're browsing, you forget to paste it in a text edit, you know, text editor or whatever. You forget to paste what you need down and then you copy something else and then whatever, you, you know, you copied before is now gone. Uh, clipboard or jump cut makes a clipboard history in a sort. So, uh, for example, here we see the application up here in the top here, the little scissor icon. When I click it, you can see all the stuff I've cut since I've installed the application. So this is just some links I was testing out earlier. Um, I, you know, was doing some websites here. So, for example, um, let's say I was going to uh, or open up a new tab here. I was going to digitaldojos.com here, opened it up, and let's say I needed to copy something. So let's say I needed this. You know, I copied the title of this text here. I copy it and you'll see it automatically gets stored right here and then if I ever need it or need a specific link uh, then I can just click back here let's say youtube.com slash digital dojos and then paste it right back in and then I can go here again I can do the same thing for this and this is a little sneak peek actually at my newest site uh, that is to come you guys can check it out smartermedia.org uh, coming soon uh, some new projects there and you can uh, go to our youtube channel youtube.com slash smartermedia org all one word to see the introduction video we have posted over there all right but as i was saying um it's really really that simple and you can keep up to a lot of different you know cuts and stuff like that so i can you know paste again i can automatically paste that in uh even if you get long bits of text so let's go back to digital dojos and let's take a long bit of text for example this paragraph right here this little preview uh, all right so let's just copy a bit of text from the site here so what we'll is highlight like for example this little description here copy it go back into jump cut and you'll see it abbreviates it so you can still see the gist of what you copied and then click it and then it'll automatically paste it in uh, and, and again if you're not if you don't want to hit command v you can all, you just go into the text input click what you want and just put it in and it'll automatically paste it in simple little tool here guys uh you know you may not think you need it but trust me it helps out a lot you can clear all jumps so for example if i don't want it stores all of these uh cuts i should say i can clear them all here so if you want to clear, uh, clear all your clippings, now I have nothing there. I can go into preferences here real quickly and show you a little bit about the uh, interface here. So you can see here you can add stuff like sticky bezel, wrap around bezel. Um, on exit, you can have it save up to a certain number of clippings. Uh, and you can have it to display up to more clippings. And by default, it just displays 15. You can have hotkeys, obviously. By default, it's command V for the you know hotkey for uh, pasting. Um, and you can have the bezel transparency. I believe bezel transparency is kind of just talking about the uh, icon up here. It, it, when you copy and or paste, it kind of does a little effect around the uh, icon there. So, guys, very, very simple application, uh, but will save you a lot in the long run. And, you know, just helps if you ever kind of need to keep a couple of things pasted in. You don't want to have to open up a text document. Or if you accidentally may have copied over something in your clipboard history, then you kind of have a way to go back and check it out. Again, available on OS X for free. I'm using it online. There's also versions for previous uh, versions of OS X. And with that, guys, don't forget to head over to digitaldojos.com. And please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.